Hey there, everyone. This is Okao. I hope you're holding on tightly to your Rizman. Yo, yeah, no, no, don't worry. My Wiimote is being held sideways. <laughs> hey there, everyone. This is Okao. So I've played some Poyo on my channel before. I like. I feel like I play like a Kirby game like once every two years or something. But every time I've played a Kirby game, it's been a game I've played before on my own time. A game I had experience with. This is my first time playing a Kirby game on the channel I've never played before. Kirby's Return to Dreamland, Press 2. Um, yeah, I never played this. I know that there's a DX on the Switch, and I'm playing the original one. I know that this game has like a master mode or hard mode or something at some point. And you know what? Maybe one day I'll return to that. Main mode and a whole bunch of stuff. Multiplayer how to. How to what? Point is, you know, something I could see myself returning to eventually. But yeah, I don't. Well, this is. This is a fairly. That is the same uh, pop star that we saw in Kirby 64 at the very least. Uh, Alright, so did Kirby leave? Well, now he's returning. I mean, that is the party from, um, Kirby 64, except Waddle Dee found a bandana somewhere. Alright, okay, yeah, that's a normal sun. There's sweet, like, weird paper texture over everything. I mean, they're going for a look, you know? It's good to look for looks. That's a boat. It's like a spaceship boat. It's kind of rad, actually. Alright, it's leaking gears all over the place, uh, and it's way- okay, honestly, it's falling apart completely and utterly. <laughs> it's probably bad. Can't believe Kirby's letting the other two be ahead of him, though. Running. Unbelievable. Let's see, now he's in front. Midnight is around. So, uh, they're gonna need help getting their ship back together, huh? That's what it sounds like to me. Gonna invite ourselves in, yeah. So Kirby does sci-fi. I mean, it always kind of was sci-fi a little bit. I saw that little guy somewhere. Yeah, so my experience of Kirby games is every game I've played on a channel. If it's not a channel, I haven't played it. I know barely anything about it. Ah, there's 120 gears somewhere in the world. As well as all these big parts. Yeah, there were five orbs on the file select screen. Don't think I didn't notice. Technobop! <laughs> hey, Kirby gets it. He doesn't speak any language, but he understands images. The international, trans-universal language of, hey, you need some help. Kirby's on it. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Spread apart on all the points. There's the bowling pin. It's the rudders, actually. He's gonna get us a double jump. Wildy's trying his best little Kirby pose. And the Cyber Zones are like, Alright, well, I'm gonna say, well, you know, it's not a bad idea to stay in your alien spaceship. Make sure nothing happens to it. Considering that is, uh, his way. I said his. It's, I don't know, man. I'm gonna say his way back home. Right, well, there we go. Now we get a start. Look at that. It's the woods, and there's a path there. And whoa, you can move. It's pretty sweet. You can go all around. Wait, so I can return here? Lore, lore Star Cutter. Well, I want to go check out, see what up with that. Oh, world map. All right, so jump. Wah. Get a block. And you get big gulp. So I looked at the controls uh, online before starting. Alright, so everything is pretty much as you'd expect them. Okay, double tap to run. So it, it controls like a Kirby game. Wild assertions here, I'm aware. Yeah, like there is no, you know, universal Wii control sets. I kind of have to look it up every time. Alright, so we got things going on here and a lot of staticky stuff, which is going to be great for bitrate. <laughs> but it's fine. Games were, are not made for that. Alright, hey. Are you Lord Magalor! Alright, I got a name now. So you haven't seen any huge spaceman lying around, have you? My Star Cutter, so that's the name of your plane. Uh-huh. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, five very important parts have gone on, as well as 120 gears. Mm-hmm. 
poor ship is in shambles. You you hate a shambled ship. Stay here and try to repair it. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yes. We bring the pieces and then you build it up. So I got five, seven lives, zero stars, and a Kirby health down at the bottom. Whoa. And then I don't know why everything is like, okay. I don't know why everything was in mega slow motion there. I have no explanations. It's just the world we lived in. But it looked like pausing fixed it, or it could have been... Wait, I want to return. It said world map. Like, I need to look at it. I just want to see, like, what that looks like. World map. So, also, we got... About Kirby. Okay, so, yeah, we get copy. Shake to super. All right, well, we got all the buttons here. Dash, guard, slide, drop. We got ship and things, sweet, and world map, like, is that just, okay, that's just an instant way to return there. All right, so, cookie country, that's level one. I'm assuming there's gonna be stages, okay, I thought so. That'd be super weird if it was just a five level game. Well, we got like a board around it, so like, how is this like, so, oh, and you tell us what's in it. Okay, and it looks like a Snabex hub, basically, so okay. I'm gonna be feeling at home here, it feels like! Uh, Alright, let's get started. Enough dallying around, and we know there are three gears in it, so... 120 divided by 3, so 40 levels? 40 stages? That's a lot. Then on a thing, yep. Sounds great. I'm looking forward to it. It's Kirby! Oh my gosh! Alright, so look at that windmill plant. So yeah, it's, I mean, it's Kirby in Dreamland, it's his home. Stars popping out of things, pretty good. Hey, well, here you go. Uh, sorry about using you as an example, it's, it had to happen. Ooh, that was a big thing. Alright, he's just looking around. Good searching, friendo. Okay, here we're gonna learn about copying. Oh, there's a limited range on that thing. Check it out, I'm sword! And then I can go do combos and stuff. So if I do that, then a green hat and come that guy. And then you get sword beam. That's funny. Okay, and you get all the controls. This is extremely, extremely uh, Kirby Superstar. Oh, you need to press down. No, no, no. It's just, it's, it's there. It's in the air. It's not in the air, though. Well, you got an uppercut in the air. Here's a donut. Cool potatoes. I could murder those guys. So I guess I am. Well, I did one. The other one can remember the mysteries. Yeah. Teaching us about running over little ditches. Do a big jump and get a bunch of stars. Destroy the world if you so desire. Bronto Bert has died. Uh, oh, that's sad. All right, hey, big star. Well, yeah, back big star. Not gear yet. I haven't found a gear yet. Swooping. You just made me lose damage. You got me hurt. Because I bumped into you. Now we're in a cave. Check it out. We're in a cave. Whoa, watch out. Fire blast. We're in the cave. All right. That's enough caving. But yeah, so like the gear thing is like right there on the HUD. You can't really miss it. I wonder if it's positional. Like, you know, like, like they're in order. I don't know. Well, these are things we're going to find out. Well, there's a star key. All right. Open that door and oh, you got to carry it. That is not a legal move, Mr. Little Mushroom Guy. Check it out, I got key. And then that happens. Gear Town! There's a sphere scattered across the land. Try to find all the hidden ones. Well, I'm gonna find all of them, hopefully. I mean, it very specifically went into that square, but I don't know. Big roots clumping down. Watch out, Wild D, there's a man. Ooh, meat. There we go, big meat. Okay, so you want me to get rid of my thing. And then to eat that, but whoa! And then it just no, no, it didn't just go. And then you can throw a massive star, but at the cost of my, that's a big guy. But yeah, that's right. Uh, I'm not afraid of you and your giant maracas. That's not whoa. Uh, it's like a bunch of guys in it. It's pretty good. Welcome to Cave Zone. Yeah, that's right. Everything in the universe, get out of here. I'm getting these stars, all right? Just big stars chomping up everywhere. All right, buddy. Look, I just swallowed you. You're just dead, you're just gone. You just do not exist anymore. How does that feel? Big kick. All right, check it out, I'm running in the field. Whoa, check out that flower, just swam little ding. 
And then Space Guy Man just kind of showed up. Alright. Whoa! I've got- Okay! I got my Smash Super. <laughs> I got- That is- <laughs> It's not necessary, but I love it. Hey there, buddies! How about my big scimitar? <laughs> Why though? It doesn't matter! Time for lunch! <laughs> See, there's even a meat that showed up. Alright, y'all, y'all, kendo stick! Yeah, okay, that one's a bit less special. I don't know. Yeah, we're kendoing now, buddy. You got a floating. Oh, jeez. Yep! Floating food? It's for me. Okay, here's a big chunk of dirt there, and all of it is gone. Oh, black hole! But that's probably good. Uh, all right, it's black hole. Oh, I lost my thing though. I lost a big sword. Big sword, gone sword. Okay, uh, we're being pursued. That's pretty rad. All right, hey guys, you're all gonna die probably. Oh, I mean, I'm curving. I can just float over everything. Like really, I don't really need to do all that much. Like honestly, even that. I don't know, like, that- I could have just gone over- Oh, jeez, those poor guys! The winner bouncing around! Yeah, I'm running! Oh, don't worry, sign. I'll be running! Alright, I can do that. There we go, get out of here, because that destroys that wall. It does make things a lot easier when all you want to do is go forward. Oh, and there we go, I went through the strange astral- Oh, now we get a choice and a meat. So I can get sword, or fire! Check off fire! Ooh, you can kinda aim. Ah! You can set yourself on fire. Alright, I feel like it might be good. Yeah, feel the hot flames of flame. Uh, I, and if you're on fire, it's fireball inferno time. So yeah, if facing right, if you can back it into you. And you can dash during during burn in midair, burning flame and stuff. There is a lot happening here. But yeah, you got like that, you got... Okay, you got this farm. Oh, wait. It's two. Spear Doomer! Stop dooming about spears! Oh. Yeah, this is, uh, this is so cool, because it's like, it's several power-ups at once. Alright, well, there's a Spear Doomer. He's in the sky. He floats around. We don't know why. Yeah! Oh man, this attack- this is so strong! What? <laughs> this poor Doom Sphere! Like, he had no chance. Yo! Alright, well, we don't know where to hide all the spheres, so we're just gonna put two of them here. That's fine, I'm down with that. You had to do a little stage, you had to do a little boss. Two rewards! Now we're back here in the grass and everything's on fire! Okay, so Endor, very obviously Endor. It is a door at the end. Check it. Oh, go game! Colgate. Oh, I did bad. That is straight out of Kirby's Adventure, though. That is like literally Kirby's Adventure. The alien gave me a little pity drink. That's fine. I get it. Kirby's happy. Star gets summoned. Next stage gets opened up. We do a pose, show the gears, and here we go! Burn the place down! Yeah, so I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna stop here, just to make sure everything went okay. And you know, like, like, we took some time with the intro and all that. But going forward, yeah, we're, we're just gonna keep on going forward. I can just quit. Quit is an option. I don't know if you lose your lives and stuff. Well, quit return to main menu. I mean, that works. It saved one, I did 1%. Now the theater is available. Fantastic. And I have access to delete file. Pretty wild, man.